Okay. Hi again, everyone. So we have looked at our master list of um, budget, budget uh, categories and envelopes. So we are going to leave this here and we're going to go over the spending so far in February. Now, I haven't really been keeping up with my no spend with my no spend tracker for February. Um, I got I got a little lost because what comes out of my account comes out like two or three days later. Um, so we 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 messed up a little bit here. So between the 16th and the 28th, so far, because the month isn't quite done, I have spent $158.79. Mostly at Walmart, but then on Quip um, because I totally forgot that that was coming out. Uh, I should be paying back $158.79, but the this I didn't take the 75 uh, I didn't pull out of my account so we um, just deducted it from what I had overspent and so that leaves me 83.79 and then I have Canva that I forgot Chewy that's coming out so I had two dollars and eighty cents that I overspent uh, last week on Chewy. Uh, so I added that there. So 54 when it comes out on the 14th. Um, Amazon, because that's one I missed on my last budget to put in. Uh, internet, because I missed the second 20. And then Quip, um, I added it in there twice. So I should owe just under $200, um, about $200 for things that I overspent and things that I forgot to budget for. I will have to pay that back eventually, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to split it so that I can also pay other bills. Um, the whole point of having the this no spend tracker is to is to not do the impulse buying to only to to budget for the things that we need so I so I don't do the impulse spending so that I have money to spend on the categories like gas and groceries and um, and and for things that I want to buy like my spending which I don't have um, toothbrushes um, so I really got to be more diligent in March. January went really, really well, and I still haven't budgeted that money, um, that that money, that $25 that I put aside, well, theoretically put aside for an extra debt payment. So, so far I have had in February, yesterday was 25 25 okay so we're gonna this was technically a no spend day because I didn't didn't do impulse purchases I did purchase the couch and the pillows at Ikea yesterday but I did not do anything outside of uh, what I had budgeted for so we so far have had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten spend days this month um that is wild because i only had one two three four five i only had six i only had six no spend days 
or, or six spin days in January. I feel like I did really, really well. And I feel like I fell off the wagon in February. So in March, we really have to keep it. We really have to keep the impulse spending down because I paid myself back like 132 last. I paid myself back 132 last budget. And now I'm having to pay myself back almost 200. So that 300 is money I could have used elsewhere. So I am where we need to keep this in check. If I had that extra $300, then I don't I don't know, maybe I could have actually put money towards some savings challenges, you know, or put some in my sinking funds, um, or more toward my friend's wedding in July or June, July, you know, or toward my, my conferences and fam trips and all that. Um, but I did spend a, a little over three, yeah, 330, 340 overspent in February <sighs> so we we really need to keep better track of that okay so as saying we're got to keep better better eye on uh, money we're going to look at our projected budget for when I get paid March 2nd. Are you ready?